Assassin's Creed Valhalla is the latest installment in Ubisoft's history-spanning series. And this time, we're heading to 9th century Britain during the Viking conquest. From raiding and pillaging to longboat sailing and mead guzzling, here are seven things to know about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Valhalla charts the story of Eivor, a male or female Norse protagonist who lands on England's hostile shores during a time of conflict and upheaval. As the Viking invasion unfolds, you'll conquer local settlements, lead raids to pillage riches, and uncover the secrets of this foreign land, all in a bid to build a thriving new community for your people. Expect to make loyal allies and powerful enemies among England's warring factions as Eivor leads their people to glory in the name of Odin. From ancient ruins and villages to dense forests and rolling hills, Valhalla's open world is full of quests, hidden loot, and hostile enemies. There's also plenty of historical mini-games, from out-drinking villagers to flighting, a form of ancient rap battle in which warriors exchange poetic insults to keep their tongue as sharp as their blade. Eivor can get around on foot or horseback, or sail with their crew in the Viking longboat. Sharpening your hunting and foraging skills is necessary to upgrade gear and discover resources to aid survival. Search pagan sites, forgotten vaults, and ancient Roman ruins to unveil more of England's past, which can lead to recovering valuable riches, unearthing books of knowledge to learn new skills or upgrade existing ones, and attending weddings to drink vast quantities of mead. Valhalla's detailed skill tree lets you boost specific traits like stealth, long-range assault, or melee action. Earn skill points from quests or activities to unlock new notes. If you decide to switch up Eivor's approach, you can completely reset and rebuild the skill tree at any time. In addition to stealth or combat, some situations can also be handled by wit or persuasion. Compete in flighting matches to boost Eivor's charisma, which opens up new dialogue options to better navigate tricky scenarios. Got you there, young earth. <laughs> Exploration by longboat sometimes leads you to hostile settlements which provide opportunities for Eivor and their crew to plunder much-needed resources for the community. When you approach, use the horn to signal the raid, and your Viking brethren will be ready to fight beside you, whether it's a small skirmish in a fishing village or a large-scale assault on a giant castle. Violence lurks in this dangerous and fragmented kingdom, and most of it is doled out by the largest variety of enemies seen in the series to date. Opponents often coordinate attacks, teaming up to take you down or using the environment to their advantage. Some will even resort to hurling their fallen comrades in a show of fierce disregard for the dead. Overcome these enemies with a combo of heavy and light attacks, keeping an eye on the stamina bar and dodging at the right moment to avoid incoming projectiles. When an enemy is highlighted gold, parry to block their attack and open them up for a devastating finishing blow. And when aiming with your bow, keep an eye out for glowing weak spots, indicating where shots do the most damage. Assassin's Creed's ubiquitous hood and wrist blade return, along with a host of other brutal tools for battle. From a harpoon to real foes in for close quarters slaughter, to throwing axes that carve up enemies at long range. Weapons can be one or two-handed. At the start, Eivor can dual-wield a pair of one-handed weapons, but a later upgrade lets them dual-wield bigger two-handed weapons as well. The result is a customizable fighting style that incorporates hammers, spears, daggers, and even a double-shield combo. As Eivor's settlement grows, so too does their legend. What begins as a desire to find a new home leads to the Viking leader facing off against supernatural forces of Norse mythology and England's zealous overlords. The allies you side with and the decisions you make have consequences for how you experience the story and events of Valhalla, determining your own path through the game and Eivor's lasting legacy. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be sailing into port on November 10th. For more on the game, including an exclusive peek at the new prequel comic, stick with IGN.